Alright everybody, hope everybody's doing well. So, in today's video I'm doing the, the stewed cabbage or cabbage stew. I posted in community that that was on the menu today that I was just eating it, cooking it. And my good old weekly cabbage fix, since y'all know I love cabbage. And I had a, I think Doc BC, I'm right. I'll try to throw it up on the screen. And asked about a recipe for it or gonna do a video for it. And I was like, well, sure, yeah. I didn't even think about doing one. So I was like, yeah, I can do a video for it. So that's what we'll be doing for today. Get that already going. And I have to apologize too. He said there about using the iron skillets, but using this today, cause the iron skillet gets the full and gets tight. I don't want to be slowly stirring or stir it out anywhere. So with a little, little bigger pot today for it. What I have here is a pound of hot breakfast sausage. Throw it in there. Go ahead and throw my onions in there too. And that's a large, uh, large onion, white onion, Spanish onion. Vidalia onion, just whatever onion you have at your disposal will go in there. So I'll let that heat up, cook up, and uh, just get it kind of brown. That's all you're going to be doing with it. And uh, you can grain off, grain, <laughs> drain off the grease if you want to. I just leave it in because this one isn't that too fatty. And two, you kind of will need the fat with all the cabbage that you'll see here. And then the onions too, because they kind of soak it up and it's not really, not really that greasy. So while it cooks up, I'll go ahead and explain what I did to the cabbage. So about a <coughs> medium to a large cabbage head, I got it. Washed it off in the sink really good. And then once I had it washed off, split it in half. Then I got the core out of it. Then I half the hash in half. And, and then just cut it into strips. So you can see right here, just about maybe quarter inch strips. And then that's it. So all you'll be doing, get this sausage browned off and once it's browned off you'll start adding in your cabbage just a little bit at a time so it can, it can kind of cook down wilt down and then i can start showing you and talking to you about the other ingredients so i go in with just a little bit of seasoning salt i like the morton seasoned salt and then some good old garlic powder and then once my cabbage is cooked on down good I'll go ahead and go in with my tomato juice and it's 46 ounces of tomato juice. And today I'm gonna to try something else out. Sometimes I like to throw in just like a can of tomatoes or something in it. But I had this salsa here that I got for Christmas. And I was like, I bet you that'll be good in it, try it out. So I'm gonna try it out in there and we'll see, see how it goes. But I'm gonna just let this brown off. I'll show you what it looks off when it's browned off and then I'll start slowly adding in my cabbage and then once it's added in, go on with my tomato sauce and so forth. So I'll see y'all when that's go ahead and brown off. So see you in a few. Well, alrighty folks, got it browned off here. Turn it down a little bit. Looking good, smelling good. That smell of that sausage and that onion is smelling good together. But anyway, I'm gonna start Throwing this in in a little batch full so it can kind of steam off, wilt off, and get kind of worked in there. Get its magic going with the good old oils and stuff that are cooked out of that sausage. And go ahead and dash in a little, little seasoned salt, a little bit of garlic, a little bit. <laughs> Like Miss Hobbs, a little bit, but I can kind of get this stirred up and moved around. 
Let it kind of get worked in and wilt it down, like I said. That way, then flavors of that sausage and you go ahead and start working in there too. Ah, it smells good. But yeah, I'm gonna start kind of slowly working this in in batches, and then I'll get back with y'all and then go ahead and pour it in my tomato juice and all. So see y'all in a few. Well, all right, folks, I'm back with you. Got that kind of cooked down, wilted down enough. I can go ahead and put my good old tomato juice in there. So go ahead and get this can in there. Give it some air hole so it can breathe as it pours out. So go ahead and get that in there. Pour the whole can in there. Whoa. Need to about spill out on me. There we go. Get that whole can in there. Get to the last drop. <laughs> Give that a quick little stir around. And if you don't want the tomato juice or whatever, you don't have to put it in there. You can kind of just eat it like it is. There's cabbage and sausage and onions and it's good that way too but i wanted i like that stewed cabbage cabbage stew top down and that's what i was doing for the video anyway so that's what i'm doing got a little major juice on me there we go got that in there now i'm gonna try this out now like i said i've done with the tomatoes and stuff in there anyway Choke on, on spit, y'all done that for. But yeah, got this at Christmas, like I said. This salsa, it's uh, some donut red salsa. Ingredients for it is uh, tomatoes, water, green, green chili, uh, onion, tomato paste, carrots, jalapenos, uh, salt, water, vinegar, garlic, dried pasilla, peppers, spices, cell phone sorry i'll throw a picture up of that but yeah give that a try in there uh, smells good it smells rich not deep and rich yeah kind of has a smoky taste to it so that's gonna be good Mm. Alrighty. Mm. I'm already excited as it is. So I'm gonna give it go ahead and let this cook down probably 15 20 minutes at a good simmer. Let it cook up good and then I'll be back with y'all probably at the table to chow down on some. So I'll see y'all in a few. So see you. Alrighty y'all, I'm back with you here. You got this kind of sit off and stew and cook off for about 15, 20 minutes. Let that cabbage kind of soften, soften on up. Now, depending on like however you want your cabbage, if you want it softer or a little crunchier, you can just go ahead and eat it sooner. I like about that 15 to 20 mark. That way the cabbage is kind of soft on up, but it's still got some texture to it. But yet again, I gotta really thank this video for to be able to, to do it and telling me to do it. Um, Doc BC, of course, because I said, asked about it in that community post. And also, got to thank Natasha Shank as well. She was on Facebook. She had seen the picture and said she was intrigued about it. I was like, well, yeah, I can do a video on it. I didn't think about it. So, there you go. Thank you all for the suggestion to be able to do it because I get to sit and enjoy it <laughs> but it's probably pretty hot right now so i'll go ahead and kind of talk my way through it yeah there's some steam coming off of it i don't know if y'all can see that but i sure can <laughs> so i know it's still good and toasty but so i started off i'd had an onion that i'd already cut up got some on my table there whoops yeah, I had an onion, large onion, chopped up and kind of rough to 
uh, medium dice, just however you want, because it's gonna cook a little while anyway and soften on up. But had that pound of sausage, I went with hot, you can go with mild or whatever else. And too, if you've got pound of ground beef, you can ground beef, you can use venison, deer, uh, which is the same thing. Uh, but yeah, just whatever meat you want to go in. It's just if you go in with your venison or uh, ground beef or whatever else, uh, you're gonna have to throw in some more seasoning with it. But the sausage is already seasoned off, so I go with it. So you're kind of cheating. <laughs> you already got ingredients with a lot of seasoning in it. That's why it kind of was good with this too. If you go with like seasoned tomatoes and stuff. This tastes really good, so I'm thinking this is gonna be even better than the last batch I did. So, then again with my cabbage, it's about a medium large head. Wash it off, half it, core it, half it again, then cut it about quarter inch strips. Cook off your sausage and your onions together. Once those are browned off, start slowly adding in your cabbage batch by batch. Unless you got a big enough pot, I have to do it slow with batches because my pot's not picking up so kind of slow with it on down. So if you got a large enough pot, chunk her on in and let her cook. And then kind of cook the cabbage off until it kind of gets softened up. Then I added in my 46 ounces of my tomato juice. Then I went in with this, the, the Sedona Red. And it's got jalapenos, tomatoes, uh, other chilies, carrots, jalapenos. Well, it's already said jalapenos, good with vinegar, garlic, dried pasilla peppers, and like I, I threw a picture up on the screen now or whenever I did too. But I tasted of it and it was good. It was rich, that rich kind of tomatoey cooked, almost had a smoky taste to it. So I'm not sure if that was maybe the pasilla, I guess that's how you say it. But mmm. It's kind of got that roasted rich smell to it. Oh, it smells good. Let's get a quick little sip of the broth. Maybe it's not too hot. Y'all can laugh at me if I'm not. <laughs> it is. No, no. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was that was a good addition. The Sedona Red Sausage. Sausage. Sausage is in it, but not in this. Salsa. <laughs> oh yeah, good choice. So if you got some salsa, or if you see that right there, I say give it a try. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's better than the, the last batch. Gives it more rich, kind of roasted pepper flavor. Look, oh, it's still hot, I know it is. So how are y'all doing? <laughs> Hope y'all are doing wonderful. My tongue's not gonna be wonderful if I go ahead and eat this right now. So we'll let this cool and steam <laughs> before it steams me. <laughs> you know, you can go in, it's hot and you can feel it on your face and stuff. So you're just like, well, I might wanna wait a few <laughs> minutes. But then you're fat and hungry and you wanna eat <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> you know, pizza is the worst. You go in and sometimes it can be deceiving. I guess the crust kind of holds it in and you'll take a bite and you're like, oh, ha, ah. <laughs> and it's hot. Mmm, cool down, good. Mm. Maybe y'all can hear that. Cabbage still got a little crunch to it, but it softened up some. Mmm, that was a good addition. Gold Waters Taste of the Southwest, and Dona Rea. Mmm, got that roasted pepper, smoky taste to it. Mmm, that is good. It says Taste of the Southwest. You can go to, right here it says www.goldwaters.com. Not sponsored, didn't pay me. I got it for a gift. Thank you, Dad, for Christmas and saw it and wanted to try it out. 
made in Scottsdale, Arizona. Gold, yeah, Gold Waters Food of Arizona. Mm. It's got some serving suggestions right here too on the side. <coughs> it says pour over a baked potato, chicken or fish. I don't know about that on a baked tater. Might be all right. Chicken or fish, yeah. Pork, yeah. Cooked with some like shrimp or something. Yeah. On a baked potato? Mm, I don't know. Mm. That is good. Is that roasted pepper rich taste. Good choice. Also, it's got you stir in some low fat yogurt. Oh, yeah, cream cheese. Well, it's cooking out cream cheese, but it says sour cream. Yeah, for a dip. Yeah, so good old Fritos corn chip. Oh, yeah. This is also mixed with pastas, potatoes, rice, or beans or cottage cheese. And again, with the potatoes, I don't know. That with a potato. I mean, I'd eat it because I try and eat anything, pretty much. Cottage cheese, yeah, for sure. Mm. And it's not hot. This isn't hot at all. It's just nice little warming to it. Just a great, good amount of just spices. That's not hot. And it also says serve with omelets. Oh yeah, fajitas. Yeah, burritos. Yeah, veggies. Right here. <laughs> Tortilla chips or grilled meats. Yeah, grilled meats. Oh yeah. I say it's like some grilled pork chops. Put this on it like almost you could block baste them at the end. And then like do a quick little sear off of them. Yeah, that'd be good. Good stuff. But yeah. Goldwater Centuria Red Salsa. Y'all see that somewhere? Yeah, pick it up. It's good. It's got the rich roasted pepper taste to it. <clears throat> nice tomato-y flavor. Not hot, so it's mild. But with hot, that's why I do that. Oh, mm. woo, <laughs> still hot. But yeah, mm. that mixed with some. You could do like a cheese ball with that mix. Mix it all of the cream cheese and stuff together, and then form it, and have just like a cheese ball and with some corn chips. Ah, good. That'd be good, like, if you had chili. Throw that in as your, with your chili base. That's good stuff. Thank you, Dad. Mmm. Good stuff. So. Thank you, Doc BC. Thank you, Natasha. Y'all go check out Natasha Cover Street Nails, I believe, on Facebook. If you're a guy, hey, follow her for your label of the 80s in your life. If you're a girl, follow her because you know you want to do your pink nails and make them look <coughs> beautiful. Good lady, sweet lady. Works hard. So go follow her. Check her out. Buy you some Cover Street Nails. I know I'd won some and just a fluke, I think, <laughs> of a giveaway and I'll give it to my sister. And I know I think she's enjoyed them, so thank you, Natasha, for that. It makes me look like a good brother. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish showering down on this. Probably gotta still let it cool a little while because each little bite, I'm just like, ooh, 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 it's still hot. So I'm gonna let that chill for a while. I might do some other stuff, clean on up. But <clears throat> thank y'all so much for watching. This one wouldn't have had it again if it wasn't for Natasha and Doc. So thank y'all very much. Cause I get to enjoy it again. <laughs> so thank y'all. Check out the uh, description for the uh, ingredients and stuff and how I did it. This.
super simple as you heard when I went through it. But thank y'all again. Y'all like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. And when you do, hey, welcome in to the Heads and Tail family. We'll love you and welcome in. Oh, oh yeah. Do you like my good old apron? It's my good old Papa's apron, so I get to think about him today. So that's good. Love you, Papa. Miss you. Be glorious to see you again someday. So thank y'all again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.